What's up everybody, Remington from Impulse Creative and today I'm gonna to show you how to create some saved replies but then also use them when you're in a live chat. Live chat runs at the speed of light. You've gotta be quick on your feet and you've gotta have some answers to help people out because they expect a response in a much faster timeline than traditional methods like email or even the phone. So you, what you can do in Drift is you can set up saved replies for those frequently asked questions that you typically get or links to really great resources or even giving a meeting link or a Zoom link for doing a video webinar. So what I'm gonna do today is first show you where you can find those when you're in a live chat, but then also how you can go in and set them up so that they're available when you need them the most. So when you're in a chat, you'll notice you have your dialog box down at the bottom and there's this little plus sign here. This plus sign essentially would allow for you to post an internal note, but then also to insert that saved reply. And upon clicking it, you can go ahead and just click the link and it would drop the text right into your chat pane where you could just press enter to send it. Now, if you are on the fly and you want to add one, you can just simply hit new reply right here and it's gonna let you create a saved reply in a one-off view. But if you're working on setting up some saved replies, then what you can do is you can go into settings. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. So what you do is you come down to your, um, to your profile page and hit my settings. And then what you're gonna go is you're gonna go to team settings, you're gonna click conversations. And you've got a couple different things going on here, but the number one that we wanna look at is saved replies. So you see you have a list of all your saved replies. This is where you can go in and edit a saved reply. And then of course you can create a new one right here. You can go in and you can do your saved reply. Um, you can create an internal name for it, but then you can also create a variety of different pieces of content. So you can, you can have a couple different replies and then remove them, or you can make it so you have individual replies that you can choose from and it'll work both on the mobile phone, but also in the chat app that I just showed you before. So things to think about when you're talking about these saved replies is what are common frequently asked questions? Are you commonly sending people to a particular uh, page on your website? Or are you using a link for another resource or another tool that you would like to be able to reference um, on the fly? If you have these things that come up more than once, it's really great to be able to drop them in by creating these saved replies, you're going to be able to set up your sales team for success and your support teams. So remember as you start to build these to use naming conventions, whether it's sales, whether it's service, or whether it's customer support, you know, you would want to make sure that these are in a category so that they're easy to find. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know. I'd love to show you um, some other tutorials which you can view right here and of course subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Until next time, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative. Have a wonderful day.